Welcome you all. Today we are going to discuss one more problem in a combustion and fuels of internal combustion engine. The question is, octane is bound with the dry air in a steady flow constant pressure combustion system at a pressure of 15 bar and equivalent ratio of 0.66. The fuel enters the combustion chamber as liquid at 25 degrees centigrade while the air enters the temperature of 600 Kelvin. The products leaving the combustion chamber are in equilibrium at a temperature of 1800 Kelvin and consists solely of N2O2, H2O, CO2 and N. Write down the stoichiometric and actual combustion equation and determine the concentration of nitric oxide in the product of combustion. Calculate the heat transferred from the combustion chamber due during combustion per unit mass of fuel, why might be the concentration of nitric oxide in the exhaust differ from the equilibrium prediction. First we will write the given data. The given fuel is octane C8H18. Combustion process is a constant pressure combustion system. The pressure is equal to 15 bar and the equivalent ratio that is 5 is equal to 0 0.66. Fuel entering temperature that is equal to 25 degree centigrade 298 Kelvin and the air entering temperature 600 Kelvin. The products leaving the temperature 1800 Kelvin. The products are N2O2, H2O, CO2 and N. Find it. Write down the stoichiometric and actual combustion equations. Determine the concentration of nitric oxide NO in the product of combustion. Calculate the heat transfer from the combustion chamber during combustion per unit mass of fuel. Why might the concentration of nitric oxide in the exhaust differ from the equilibrium prediction? Solution. First, we have to write the stoichiometric combustion. In the stoichiometric combustion, octane C8H18 reacted with assume Y kilo mole of air, that is O2 plus 3.76 N2, produces 8 kilo mole of CO2, 9 kilo mole of H2O, and Y multiplied by 3.76 kilo mole of N2. Now we know that a fuel CAHB NCOD. The minimum air requirement for this Y is equal to A plus B by 4 minus D by 2. So here 8 plus 18 by 4 minus 0 that is equal to 12.5. Now the stoichiometric combustion equation becomes C8H18 plus 12.5 O2 plus 3.76 N2 produces 8 kilo mole of CO2, 9 kilo mole of H2O and 12.5 multiplied by 3.76 47.02 kilo mole of N2. Now they given that equivalent ratio is equal to 0.6. This equivalent Equivalent ratio is different as stoichiometric air field ratio over actual air field ratio. That is equal to 0 0.66 is equal to 12.5 over actual air field ratio. So that actual air field ratio is equal to 18.77. Because this amount of kilo mole of air is excess, so that the O2 will be present. Now the actual combustion supposed to be 1 kilo mole of C8H18, 18.77 kilo mole of O2 plus 3.76 N2 produces 8 CO2, 9 H2O and 18.77 multiplied by 3.76 that is equal to 70.57 N2, 18.77 minus 12.5, 6.27 amount of O2 will be there. However, in the products they given nitric oxide is formed so that the combustion equation we have to include this nitric oxide. Assume x kilo mole of nitric oxide in the product so that the actual combustion equation for this case is C8H18 plus 18.77 O2 plus 3.76 N2 plus 8 CO2 plus 9 H2O X kilo mole of NO and it is 70.57 minus X by 2 kilo mole of N2 and 6.27 minus X by 2 kilo mole of O2. This X is unknown term. We cannot predict it by equating the coefficients of N and O. So we have to be find an alternative solution to find this kilo mole of nitric oxide. We know that the equilibrium equation of NO formation is N2 plus O2 2 NO. This can be written as N2 plus O2 minus 2 NO is equal to 0. Then the equilibrium constant for this equation ln Kp is equal to ln of P star of N2 P star of O2 over 2 P star of NO. That is equation Four. This can be written as ln Kp is equal to ln of P star of N2 plus ln of P star of O2 minus 2 ln of P star of NO. Assume this equation as 5. Now this P star is the partial pressure units in 
but this p star is equal to n of i into p of i over sigma n of i. Assume that p of i over sigma n of i is equal to p dash. This equation phi becomes ln kp is equal to ln of n of n2 p dash plus ln of n of o2 multiplied by p dash minus 2 ln of n of n o multiplied by p dash. So this can be written as ln of n of n2 plus ln of p dash plus ln of n of o2 plus ln of p dash minus 2 into ln of n of n o minus 2 into ln of p dash. So while simplifying we get ln of n of n2 plus ln of n of o2 minus 2 into ln of n of n o. Assume this is equation 6. Now the reaction number 3 this ln of Kp at 1800 Kelvin for reaction number 3 is 9.036. Now apply this into equation 6. We get ln of Kp is equal to 9.036 is equal to ln of 75.57 by divided by x by 2 plus ln of 6.27 minus x by 2 minus 2 into ln of x. And for removing this natural logarithm, e power 9.036 is equal to 70.57 minus x by 2 multiplied by 6.27 minus x by 2 over 2x square. While simplifying we get 8400 is equal to 70.57 multiplied by 2 141.14 minus x then 12.56 minus x over 4x square again multiplication we get 33600 x square that is equal to 1769.89 141.14 x minus 12.56 x plus x square then again simply we get an equation 33599 x square plus 153.68x minus 1769.89 is equal to 0. By solving by quadratic equation x is equal to minus 153.68 plus or minus root of 153.68 square minus 4 into 33599 into minus 1769.89 that is equal to whole divided by 2 into 33 while solving this one x equal to 0 0.227 or x equal to minus 0 0.2318 neglect negative value so that x equal to 0 0.227 the actual combustion equation becomes 1 kilo mole of CHH18 plus 18.77 O2 plus 3.76 M2 8CO2 plus 9H2O 0.227 NO then 70.57 minus 0.227 by 2 that is equal to 70.4565 M2 and 6.27 minus 0.227 by 2 we get 6.1565 O2. So this NO formation the kilo mole of NO is equal to 0.227 kilo mole per kilo mole of fuel. Then the percentage of exhaust composition is that is the summation of the product that is equal to 8CO2 plus 9H2O 0.227N2 plus 70.4565N2 plus 6.1565O2 that is equal to 93.84. So the concentration of NO is equal to 0.227 over 93.84 that is equal to 0.2419 percentage answer. Now the third question is heat transfer from the combustion system. They given that the fuel octane CHH18 at 298 Kelvin that is 25 degrees centigrade is entering to the combustion system and the air that is 18.77 kilo mole of air at 600 Kelvin enter into the combustion system. It will be producing 8 kilo mole of CO2, 9 kilo mole of H2O and 0.227 kilo mole of N2, 70.4565 n2 and 6.1565 o2 
it will be produces in the heat and work now apply the steady flow energy equation that is enthalpy of the reactant plus q is equal to enthalpy of the product plus work they didn't give any work so that work is equal to zero we can say that q is equal to enthalpy of the product minus enthalpy of the reactant this is equation seven this enthalpy of the reactant is equal to enthalpy of fuel at 298 plus enthalpy of air at 600 kelvin enthalpy of the fuel at 298 given in the table c8h18 minus 224.10 minus but they given the temperature at 298 but the pressure is 15 bar we have to reduce the enthalpy of vaporization of the fuel so that 224 minus 10 minus 33.142 this is for fuel plus enthalpy of air at 600 kelvin that is equal to for O2 9.247 n to 8.893 that is 18.87 9.247 plus 3.76 multiplied by 8.893 enthalpy of reactant is equal to i 41.9932 mega joule per kilo mole of fuel now this enthalpy of the product at 1800 kelvin that is equal to n of product multiplied by enthalpy of the product so that is equal to n of co2 into h of co2 plus n of h2o into h of h2o plus n of no multiplied by enthalpy of no plus n of n2 multiplied by enthalpy of n2 plus n of o2 enthalpy of o2 that is equal to when you are referring this table this absolute molar enthalpy at 1800 n2 is 48.02 1800 n2 o2 co2 h2o and no now we can write this one that is 8 multiplied by h of co2 minus 314.151 plus n of h2o9 multiplied by minus 179.212 plus n of no 0.227 multiplied by 140.808 plus n of n2 is 70.4565 multiplied by 48.949 plus n of o2 6.1565 multiplied by 51.652 then this enthalpy of the product at 1800 kelvin is equal to minus 327.389 mega joule per kilo mole of fuel now this heat transfer q is equal to enthalpy of product minus enthalpy of the reactant that is equal to minus 327.8919 minus of enthalpy of the reactant is equal to 541.9932 541.9932 that is equal to minus 869.3571 mega joule per kilo mole of fuel however they asked in the question per kg of fuel that is q is equal to total heat transfer over the molecular mass of the fuel we know that this is 869.3571 the molecular mass of fuel is V8H18 is equal to 114. We get minus 7.626 megajoule per kg of fuel. This negative sign is the heat is transferred from the system. This is the answer 4. Now, the fourth question is why NOx concentration is lower than the equilibrium calculation? The nitric oxide formation will be lower than equilibrium formation. Why? Because of the reaction rate of NO formation is low and a shorter residence time the actual NO formation is lower than equilibrium formation. Subscribe to our channel. Like if you are satisfied and share because it may useful to someone